Hi, this video is about installing True Design skin fittings and ball valves. Along with Peter from Navigators Marine, I'm replacing the fittings on the PVO project boat Maximus. First of all, get rid of all the old skid fittings and clean up around the holes. These valves are being cut away inside and tapped out of the holes. As a rule, fit the through hull fittings one day, then leave them overnight so the sealant cures. You need to use an adhesive sealant like Sikaflex or 5200, which are both extremely adhesive whilst remaining flexible. Or you can use an epoxy if you wish. Spread the sealant around the flange and up the threads. You don't want any gaps. We're using the through hull installation tool, which makes life a lot easier, but it isn't essential if there are two of you. Apply sealant to the hull and threads inside, as well as to the washer. When the nut is done up on the inside, you can clean away any excess sealant. Don't over tighten, simply let the sealant or epoxy do the work. We won't be wiping off the excess sealant on the outside, but we'll instead allow it to cure overnight, then remove it with a sharp knife tomorrow. That's job done for day one. Time to let the sick effects cure. Day two, and we're back to fit the valves and hose tails. Whatever you do, don't put a right angle bend before the valve. Ideally, the valve needs to be snug right up to the hull to minimize overhang, and you'll almost certainly need to cut away the excess length of the skin fitting. On this boat, we're fitting load-bearing collars to all the skin fittings. They're only really needed in places where a heavy thump might accidentally be applied to the fitting. But this owner wants to err on the side of safety, so on they go. True Design composite valves are a bit bulkier than their metal predecessors, so if it's too tight against a bulkhead, you can either remove a small section of bulkhead, or better still, find a new site for the whole assembly and cover the old hole with fiberglass. Fitting the valve, you can make a permanent fit with Sikaflex or 5200 or a removable fit with Loctite 55 pipe sealing cord. We're going with the permanent solution. The valves are maintenance free and said to last the life of the boat, so why not? The other advantage with using an adhesive sealant is that you can back off the valve half a turn to set the handle in the most accessible position. Threads should be hand tight only, with the sealant making an adhesive bond to both parts. Once again, wipe away any excess when you're done. Hose tails come next, and here you have a choice between straight, 120 degrees or 90 degrees. If you can avoid it, don't fit a 90 degree bend to a heads or a galley outlet, as it may well spoil your day somewhere down the line. Only when everything's cured should you reattach the hoses. Thanks for watching.